Hey everybody, this is Brian with As the Lion Travels. We're here in the Natchez Trace Parkway today with my family. We're here to do part three. So stick around, come with us as Lion Travels. Roll intro. Lina Mounds has six Native American burial mounds and associated habitation area that were built during the woodland period. The mounds stand at a height of 5 to 14 feet. The National Park Service has excavated five of these mounds in the late 1940s. The two largest mounds have been restored for public viewing and contain the remains of a woman who was buried between the two burned oak logs laid at the base of the mound. Pre-made remains of two other adults and a child were also found here along with other ceremonial artifacts. You are standing on the site of an Indian village long since deserted. The only visible remains are the mounds of earth in the field before you. If you could have been here some 1,500 years ago, you would have found this a busy place. The air filled with a babble of children. Just three miles off the Natchez Trace, you'll come up on the archaeological site of the Owl Creek Mounds. The Owl Creek Mounds were first excavated in August of 1935. These mounds are estimated being built 800 to 900 years ago and were used for only about 100 years. This was determined by the dating of the charcoal samples collected at the site and by studying the artifacts and building remains found in the mound. Hernando de Soto was a Spanish explorer of the Mississippi and spent the winter of 1540 to 1541 near this site. According to the Pontoc Chamber of Commerce, 
On Christmas Day of 1540, the very first Christian marriage in America was held here between Juan Ortiz and Saw Orwana, a Seminole princess that was held captive by the Spaniards. Monroe Mission School was the first religious building built in North Mississippi. The mission was established in 1921 by the Presbyterian Reverend Thomas C. Stewart, also known as the mighty force in building good relationships between the settlers and the Chickasaw. By 1827, over 100 acres were being farmed and the school had 81 students. Tokshish is Chickasaw for tree root. Also known as McIntoshville, established in 1770 by John McIntosh, a British agent. Mississippi's second post office established in 1801 in Main Tokshville was a postal relay station between Nashville and Natchez. It would take a ride of five days from Nashville to this point and still had another seven day travel to reach the Natchez. On October 20, 1832, the Pontoc Creek Treaty was signed here. Over 6 million acres were ceded over to the U.S. government by the Chickasaw. The Chickasaw Council House was a central place for the Chickasaw to conduct business with the government. Pontoc became the capital for the Chickasaw Nation. Black Belt. Reaching eastward across nearly all of Alabama, this region is known for its rich black soil, excellent for crops, especially cotton. At one time at the bottom of the sea, limestone deposits transform into fertile soil, making it excellent for farm life. way to end another beautiful day. Well, thanks for joining us on part three of the Natchez Trace. We hope you had fun as we did. Till next time, God bless and rock on.